Now let's talk about the XSS attack. So in this couple of lectures or in this whole section, we'll just talk about the cross-site scripting, how it works on the live website. We'll see the type of XSS and how to just crack and how to get safe or basically how to prevent from this type of attacks. So first of all, XSS is a type of injection that is a JavaScript code in which attacker injects data. So data here means some type of code or a malicious script into content so content here is HTML elements from otherwise trusted website that means in any trusted websites attacker can inject its malicious code into the HTML element so that it will be executed on the client so just remember it is not executing in the server so it is only getting the access or a control over the client machine so cross scripting attack happens when the untrusted source is allowed to inject its own code into a web application that means it is uh, the loophole of a ARP poisoning that means anything in the web is trusted so when you just inject some malicious code to the web application it is allowed to inject that code and the malicious code is included with the dynamic content delivered to the victim browser that means it is talking about the stored AXS attack that means it will be uh, referred to the stored accesses and we'll just see the types of accesses attacks in the upcoming lecture but for now just remember that accesses is executed to the victim's browser so as to take the control over its uh, browser so next one is the malicious script are often delivered in the form of a bits of a javascript code so that means a javascript code will be injected as a malicious code into the victim's browser and it will be exploited with the executable code in many other languages that means it will run or it will execute with the Java because Java is a back-end language and the JavaScript is a front-end language that means there is a relation between the front-end and a back-end so front-end is used to just deliver the content of the backend so that means it will just make use of other programming language to just inject that malicious executable code into the victim's browser so it will just incorporate with the java ajax flash and the html which is basically the elements that will be useful to show some of the content of the web page to the browser's client or basically to the browser's so cross-site scripting attacks can be very serious but mitigating the vulnerabilities that enable such attack is relatively easy so that means it can be very dangerous but we can just apply some of the encoding techniques some of the obfuscation technique so in order to just uh, uh, give the hacker that is the tough time to attack for that parameters so that means cross-site scripting allows an attacker to execute the malicious script as we have already seen and uh, the attacker does not attack the victims directly rather the attacker exploits the vulnerabilities in the website the victim visits and gets the website to deliver the malicious script for the attackers so we'll just inject some of the malicious code to the victims uh, basically to the uh, parameters of the website so that means that particular url will be only vulnerable and we'll just make use of some uh, post uh, basically some delivery technique so as to get that url clicked by the users and the user will think that the url is uh, the legit website but that will be vulnerable and the hacker will get access of the victim's browser or victim's computer so xss can be used in the number of ways to cause the serious problem the traditional use of the xss enables attacker to steal the session cookies and we'll see about the session cookies in the upcoming lecture and that will allow the attacker to pretend to be the victim or a user that means they will just log into the credentials with their credentials because they has the access to the cookies or the to the sessions of the victim's browser 
but it is not just stealing the cookies attackers can use the accesses to spread the malware deface website create havoc on the social website phishing uh, basically phishing is the way to just grab the credentials in conjunction with the social engineering technique and it will just cause more attacks which will lead to making the reversal and uh, just getting hacked or basically sql injection and everything that come with the xss attack and basically xss is simple way to just gain the access of the victim's browser but it can lead to some dangerous attack that can just uh, get access of the servers with the xql injection get the information that is critical of the server with this simple attack so xss is very important attack and you can see the simple picture over here saying what is the cross site scripting so you can see the attacker in the left hand side and the victims or the browser which is the user in the right hand side so attacker injects the website with the malicious script that will execute in the user browser that means it will just inject some of the payload into the website so that the website will just um, be executed on the web site user and you can see the malicious script is activated in each visit to the website that means the particular url will be infected and whenever the malicious script is activated it will be executed on that machine so on the particular machine will be executed not on whole machine just remember that that cross-site scripting is basically infected or is going to infect on a particular url so anyone who just visit that url will get infected not all the user so after that in some attacks the victim cookies are stolen or private credentials can also be revealed by the attacker by gaining the access to the victim's computer so this is the way how the cross-site scripting works so we'll see how to make the payload how to see how to just work with the cross site scripting how to make actual payload and inject in the live websites in the upcoming lecture so it is one of the way to just make the code and run so that we just get some big bounty so bug bounty and basically bug bounty is a platform for just an attacker to just pen in testing and just to reveal some of the attacks that can be just used to pen test the website so that means anyone who will attack to their website will just report that this url is infected and they will just be rewarded with prize and hall of the fame so we'll see about the cross-site scripting in the upcoming lecture see you in the next one